In this video, I want to introduce you to the Canvas Student app. You should download and install it from your Play Store. I'm not going to actually use the Student app, you will, but I'll be using the Canvas Teacher app. There's an app for teachers, there's an app for students, but the login will be the same process. You'll be asked the name of your school, if you just type COMFSM, it should find the school. At the very next screen, which may take some time to load due to bandwidth, weather impact on our ADSL lines, the email to put in here is going to be the new Google G Suite for Education address, the COMFSM.edu.fm address. That's the one you'll want. At the very next screen, you'll need to put in your password for that account. If you've forgotten your password, you're going to have to contact IT for assistance. Now, I've entered my password and pressed sign in, and I'm now logged in. This is actually the uh, teacher, Kansas teacher, so it will look a little different. But let me switch now to what you will see from Canvas Student. And again, this may take some time to load. I'm now in as a student. If I had a grade, it would appear at that NA. I don't have a grade. This is an empty student account. But if I open that up, I will see my home. By the way, I should, I'd should be remiss. At the bottom of the screen, you can see you have an inbox that you can take a look at your messages. I can't. I'm not an actual student. You have a to-do list. This will show you any assignments that are coming up that are due. You have a calendar. The calendar will do the same thing. It will show you assignments that are coming up, things you have to do. The dashboard is your access to the courses which is important because most of the courses at the college are organized around modules. You'll see that as a second item here. The modules will tell you what you need to do and when you need to do it. Now this particular set of modules is from spring term and so the dates are for spring 2021. Uh, but this is what the modules will look like and for my particular layout it, I use a chapter structure in statistics I use other structures, unit structures, and other courses, but basically I usually organize around some form of chapter or unit. And I provide dates to tell you what you're supposed to do when. Like on 11 January, you should do these items here. On 15 January, the students were to do these. The dates will change, and the dates may move from the header down to the... Uh, you know, one like this, it's a video. That's a link to a video. Uh, 2.1 is a link to a video. Uh, well, you'll see those links. Those are provided dates that you should do that on. And your assignments have due dates on them. So if you go into the assignment, you'll see a due date. And the due date will tell you when that's due. So you should look at the video and then work on the assignments. That's the basic structure. In this case, and there's some other videos that cover this, there's a link that will make a copy of the homework for you to work on in the statistics class. Other classes have other approaches to uh, moving assignments out to you, and, and each class will explain that to you. But the modules are a really good place to start. The syllabus gives you basic information about the course, and it does also get you a second tab course information. The tab on the right, the summary, tells you what's due when. And again, these dates are from the spring term. So it gives you a what's due when. You can simply jump straight to the assignments tab. And that's useful because it does show you uh, dates when things are due. And it may also show you dates when things uh, will, uh, might be no longer available in some courses. But in this case, it just shows you when they're due. On a laptop, though, it should also show you when it will lock, when it's too late to turn it in. You can see your grades. You can get it, uh, lists of who is in your course with you. They're listed in your course with you. Um, 
uh, these sorts of things. And you can explore your what you see may vary according to the course. The instructor can remove these items. They can add some items to this list potentially. So yours may look slightly different. But the key places to go are modules and the syllabus. This is two key places. One other place you can always look is at your home page. There may be something on the home page that tells you something about the course. You can always get back to those pages from the pages. In this course, the textbook is kept here in the pages. So if you have to go look at a textbook in this particular course, it's in the pages section. Again, that won't be true for all courses, but that is true for statistics. The textbook is available to you right from the pages area. So you can go look at the pages and see those there. That's a bit of an introduction to, to the uh, app and to help you find your way around the app a little bit. Uh, there may be notifications that come in. You can pick those up from the notification screen at the bottom. Uh, you've got those five icons at the bottom to help you quickly navigate to different things. And the dashboard, again, gets you into a specific course. That's all I wanted to cover today. A brief introduction to the app. Help you start navigating. Explore it. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you have questions, as always, ask.